Welcome to the Candle Business Coach Podcast. I'm your host, Kirsty Allen, and I am the Candle Business Coach. I'm also a mum of three and a kindness advocator. This podcast is all about making and selling candles, business development, and mindset, delivered to you with advice, inspiration, and motivation in a new episode every Friday. This episode is brought to you by the membership for candle makers, the Candle Makers Collective. Becoming a member gives you access to fortnightly online group Q&A coaching sessions to support you, monthly online workshops and trainings to help you grow your business, plus frequent expert guest speakers to inspire and teach you. You'll also have access to an ever-growing resource library with templates, guides, planners, and eBooks. But my favorite aspect of the membership is our exclusive Facebook group for accountability, connection and support. So if you're looking to take your candle business to the next level and learn more about the membership for candle makers, click the link in the show notes for the candle makers collective. Welcome back to the podcast, my friend. Gosh, it has been a while since I recorded a solo episode for you, particularly one where I share my thoughts and musings when it comes to the mindset side of running a candle business or hobby and life in general. And what's really interesting is that because I do these podcast episodes weekly and I alternate between having a guest and my solo episodes, what I really love is that when I feel drawn to making an episode that is relevant to what's going on in my world and I'm able to share those those thoughts and musings, I know that there are people that listen to this podcast that will benefit from what I'm going through. The reason I believe that is because I truly believe that no experiences we go through are actually completely our own or completely unique. I personally believe that everything that we experience in life, others can experience too. They're not necessarily in the the exact same way, but we can shed light on the path ahead of others by guiding them through our lived experience, illuminating the path behind us to allow others to follow or be inspired by. So with all that said, I wanted to do an episode today about navigating boundaries, having discipline and accountability in your candle business. And I think this is really important for several reasons, many of which I will go through throughout this episode today. But what I think is really important is what it's important to know is that You are worthy of setting boundaries around your business and having the self-discipline to chase after your dreams and be accountable to yourself to fulfill your life's desires and your life's purpose is a lot bigger than what we sometimes give it credit for. So in today's episode, I wanted to break down the topics into the three different categories. So boundaries, discipline, and accountability. So starting off with boundaries, I want you to always be passionate about your business. But what I'm finding in the conversations that I'm having with candle makers all around the world, which is beautiful and I love it so much, is that sometimes we can become so singularly focused on having a air quote, successful candle business. And I say air quotes because the definition of success is for us to define. But When we're so passionate about our business and we want to find that success and be seen as a success and have the financial security from our own business and and all of the things, sometimes we forget about the other important aspects of our life. And I'm talking family, our children, friends, and even paid work is important to factor in when we're growing our empire and other responsibilities as well. So it's so important to know that having boundaries around how much time you dedicate for your business is actually really important, even though I know you're excited and you want to spend all of your free time when it comes to uh, working on your business. But it's important that you're being protective of your energy and not feeling guilty when you do take breaks from your candle making journey. Um, if you need them. And of course, we all do need breaks from time to time. And I say this because there is a difference between taking a break because you're procrastinating and avoiding doing the tasks that need to be done to move the needle in your business and taking a break because you are genuinely run down or tired or just burnt out, for example. A point I want to make is that it's really important to consider and prioritize your time when it comes to your business and making progress on your candle making journey. 
Time, as we know, is a precious resource and we have limited time each day and each week to get things done and make real tangible progress. So what I want you to consider when it comes to having a boundary around your time is to guard your time and begin to learn how to prioritize your future dreams and goals over short-term wins and pleasures. But really, it all depends on what you want from your life and how motivated you are to chase after your dreams. I believe that when we know what we want and we know how to get it and achieve it, then it's simply a matter of putting one foot in front of the other and taking inspired action at every opportunity. But that's not always easy. We don't always know what is the next best choice to make or the next best decision to choose for our business. And that's where it's really important to take stock and to take a step back, to zoom out from our life. And I'm a huge advocate of journaling. So I would recommend pulling out pen and paper or your phone if you prefer to do it, um, if you prefer to use tech, but just getting your thoughts out of your head and allowing yourself to really work out what your dreams are and what you want to achieve. Because when you have that clarity, when you have that clear mind of what you want for your candle making journey and your business, you're then able to work out what boundaries to put in place to allow those dreams to become reality. Another point, and I think this is something that I've not heard a lot of people talk about, is actually having financial boundaries. So actually establishing a budget and spend limits for yourself in your business to ensure that you're not overspending or prevent overspending is huge. If you are a new candle maker and you, like many of us, are excited by all the different fragrance oils and all the different pretty jars and vessels and all the different things that come with buying, like all the equipment and supplies when it comes to your candle business, you can get lost and caught up in the momentum of buying too much, spending too much before you can actually make a candle to then, well, make a, make a safe candle to then be able to sell and bring money back into the business. So having financial boundaries is a really important thing to consider. And there are plenty of resources online when it comes to setting budgets. So definitely have a look through Google if you don't know how to set a budget for yourself. The next topic I want to speak about in today's episode is discipline. And I want you to think about how you can create behaviors to help get you into habits that set you up for success in your business. Now, I know that everyone has different levels of available time to be able to dedicate to their business, but I guarantee you that you do have more time than you think particularly when you think about perhaps how much time you spend watching TV or how much time you spend aimlessly scrolling on social media. I know, I know sometimes it's nice to sit back and sit on the couch and just chill out, zone out and scroll in our phones. But when your life's goals and your dreams for your business are bigger than procrastinating, it's a bit easier to make that choice to get up off the couch and to actually make your business work for you and to make it a success. So a little example I wanted to share in this section of the podcast is for me, when I was in school, this is both primary school and high school, it was probably a rule that my mum had set, but it's still something that I agree with today. And that is homework before play. So when I would get home from school, I would get changed and then I would sit down and do my homework before I went and played outside, before I climbed the tree and played basketball and did all the things that I would do outside, as well as playing inside or watching TV or whatever it was. So the idea is that now as an adult, what I'm choosing to do is once my chores are done, (laughs) which is, you know, dishes, washing, all the things, and the kids are in bed, I can then dedicate time towards my business because that for me is play, that for me is fun, that brings me joy, and that brings light into my life um, and not just candlelight. So for me, it's about having that self-discipline to know that there, and this comes into the boundaries part of this podcast as well, is that it's important to honor where I am and what I need to do around the house and obviously be the mum to my beautiful children and to be my, my partner's partner and do all of the things, all the responsibilities, but then focusing on and having that discipline to know that what I want from life is more than what I currently have. That's why I have a business. That's why I want to grow my business. And having that at the forefront of my mind when it comes to do I watch TV or do I work on my business 
for me, it's a no brainer. I work on my business because I know that it'll bring me so much more joy in the long term, but also the short term as well. What I want you to do is have the discipline to focus on the tasks that are actually worth the time that we invest in them. So what I mean by that is I want you to work on the tasks that challenge you and that will help grow your business rather than just the easy and the fun tasks. So for me, what that looks like is doing research for my podcast episodes and preparing questions for upcoming guest episodes instead of constantly sitting on my phone and replying to messages and emails. Now, for anyone that's ever messaged me or emailed me, you know that I'm not as fast to reply as I personally would like. I would like to be instant reply to DMs, instant reply to emails, because I want to keep that conversation going. And I think it's important to, you know, strike when the iron's hot. But that said, those things can always wait. The podcast is a weekly commitment. My membership is a daily, weekly, fortnightly, monthly commitment. And those things to me are what bring in income into my business. So what that might look like for you in terms of working on tasks that challenge you rather than just the easy and the fun tasks is perhaps to do some research on how to set up your email marketing, get your website in order, get the email marketing happening with the pop-up on the website so people will sign up to your email list and then you can start emailing your list or something like that. Instead of trying to find the air quotes best hashtags to use on just one social media post, but taking an hour on that one task, trying to perfect it. We get so caught up in the small tasks that we sometimes forget that those tasks are taking more time than they should. But really it's about Focusing on the tasks that are future focused, the ones that give us growth, whilst also focusing on the stabilizing tasks, the ones that provide maintenance and the others, the time wasters, the ones that pacify us and soothe us when we're feeling emotional or hormonal or just not having a great day. Knowing the difference between the different types of tasks and and prioritizing those is something that takes practice and um, is certainly not easy. So accountability. This is something that I've seen many candle makers struggle with when they try and go it alone. They try and be accountable just to themselves without outsourcing any of that accountability. And look, to be honest, some people can do it really, really well. Some of us are highly organized, uh, highly motivated, highly driven, and we have seemingly endless energy to be able to do the things that need to happen in our business to help our business grow. Not everyone can do that and this podcast is a way to help you and the Candle Business Coach business in in essence is here to help provide that accountability for you. Setting accountability for yourself is a powerful way to achieve your personal growth goals. So I wanted to go through a few steps, a few things that you can do to help that accountability for yourself if you're determined to do it on your own. (laughs) So setting clear goals is really important. Now you can set SMART goals, which is specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. Creating deadlines is really important too. So for me with the podcast, I have to have a podcast episode out every Friday morning. That to me is just a non-negotiable. And it's something that I've set for myself because I want to be accountable to others that when people about their podcast app on a Friday, they know that there'll be a new podcast episode from me. I didn't want to be inconsistent and not reliable in that way. For you, what that might look like is saying to yourself, okay, I'm going to give myself two weeks to set up my email marketing, or I'm going to give myself one month to set up my website. Depending on what your deadline is, whatever will motivate you into action, not keep you stuck in overwhelm. And then, as I said before, it's important to write them, write the, t- the goals down, the tasks that you want to do and to help stay on track, you can actually track your progress. So keep a journal or a goal tracking app. There are hundreds of them in the app store that you can use to monitor your progress regularly. And then you want to celebrate the small victories and adjust your approach if it's not quite working. Don't beat yourself up if you're not sticking to the original goal that you set. Just adjust and pivot and make it work for you. Don't be a slave to the system. Speaking of systems, you can implement a reward system. So establish rewards for yourself upon reaching those milestones or achieving goals along the way. And what's really important to know is that we, when we have these really big, audacious, incredible goals, when we break them down into smaller milestones, smaller chunks, 
we can then celebrate those milestones along the way and we can yeah celebrate which I I love so much because I think it's so important to acknowledge the progress that we're making the journey is more satisfactory than the destination and then of course it's important to have regular check-ins with yourself and as I said to journal and to be reflective on what's working for you what needs to be adjusted um, what needs to improve Now, for many people that I speak to, many candle makers, of course, struggle with staying accountable, staying motivated and staying focused. This is one of the things that I believe my membership, the Candle Makers Collective, does really well because you're part of a group, an intimate group where we are all supportive of each other. There's no competition. It's very much community and we're there for each other. We're able to connect in and support one another. So if you are struggling with your accountability If you're struggling to have that discipline, if you're not quite sure what boundaries to put in place, reach out, send me a DM. I'm more than happy to talk you through what the membership is all about, or we can explore private coaching if you prefer more of a one-on-one environment. So those are all the things I wanted to share in today's episode, but the main point that I want to get across to you, my beautiful listener, my beautiful friend, is that if you have goals for your life and your business and you haven't quite reach them yet, please know that you're not alone on your journey. There are people here, myself included, that can support you on your journey and that can help you. But also it's just so, so important to know that whatever dreams that you have in your mind and in your life and that you have visions for the future, you can achieve them. They would not have landed in your heart and soul if they were not meant for you, if you were not meant to fulfill your life's purpose in that way. So with that said, I also wanted to share that it is currently 46 days until the 2024 Australian Soap and Candle Conference, which is mind boggling because it feels like it was like 200 days, five seconds ago, um, where I'll be a guest speaker along with an amazing lineup of other guest speakers too. So if you are based in Melbourne, uh, Victoria, Australia, or you're willing to travel to Brighton on the 25th of March, 2024. Tickets are still available, but the opportunity to purchase tickets, either in person or virtual tickets, uh, is closing soon. Actually, closing on the 12th of March, which is just over four weeks away. So, if you're listening to this episode as it's released, you've got more time to book your ticket. That said, tickets are limited for in person, unlimited for virtual. If you're listening to this podcast closer to the 25th of March, please know that I will pop the link in the show notes so you can still check it out. And if you're listening to this episode after the conference has happened, I'm sorry, you've missed out. You'll have to come to the next one. So (laughs) with all that said, I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day, week ahead, depending on when I'll pop back in your ears or when you choose to listen to another episode. And I will speak to you soon. Thank you, my friend, for listening to this episode. Check out the show notes for all the links mentioned throughout the conversation. And please subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss any future episodes. And if you're feeling inspired, I would love it if you would write a review for the podcast and give a five-star rating. Thank you so much and have a beautiful day. Mm